Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here. Now before I get started with this video that I'm about to make for you guys, I want to let you all know that this video is going to be about Catholicism again. Yes, I know there are times when Catholicism might seem to be a little bit boring, but I have been running across a couple of stories that I've been wanting to share with you guys. And in all actuality, I think that these particular individuals in Catholicism are rather disgusting. And they will stop at nothing in regards to, you know, preventing women from having their personal health rights and so on and so forth. Now, before I go even further, I want to let you guys know that the article that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is going to be in the description box down below for you guys to take a look at in its entirety. Also, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down, down below as well, because I'd really like to see your opinions on this particular dickhead that I'm going to be talking about today. Now this individual goes by the name of Timothy Dolan and he's an archbishop in New York. Well it turns out that this particular dick face said some pretty crazy shit towards women. And basically he's against women, you know, as far as their personal health rights are concerned, contraceptives, you know, you the usual bullshit that the Catholic Church starts to participate in. And just to shed a little bit of light on this subject, I'm going to read a part of this article to you guys so that you can get a better idea of what this Archbishop is all about. So with that said, let's get to the article at hand here. New York Archbishop Timothy Dolan said this weekend that the owners of Hobby Lobby are true Americans and that denying women insurance coverage for contraception that they already pay for is fine because by Lord all you have to do is walk into a 7-Eleven or any shop on any street in America and have access to them. And I'm going to be sharing a quote with you guys that he also said and it is pretty alarming to see how this Archbishop is very ignorant. Obviously he knows nothing of women's health rights, he knows nothing about contraception Otherwise, he wouldn't be making these statements about, you know, women going to the local 7-Eleven or to a local gas station or whatever the case might be. I mean, this is stupidity at its finest. But let's continue on with the quote he has. And I quote, I think the owners of Hobby Lobby are just true Americans. Is the ability to buy contraceptives that are now widely available by Lord all you have to do is walk into a 7-eleven or any shop on any street in America and have access to them is that right to access those and have them pay for is that such a towering good that it would suffocate the rights of conscience I don't think so but I hope the Supreme Court agrees now like I said this particular individual this Archbishop Timothy Dolan is rather ignorant Basically, he's letting his Bronze Age beliefs, you know, impo be imposed on women, is what he's doing. And in all honesty, I really don't like his particular position on this, because he is a perfect example of how society is being held back when it comes to these important issues. Because he is one of the main reasons why society is slow at developing for everyone to be benefiting from. And this is a big problem within the Catholic Church because their reasons for, you know, basically keeping women from having their own personal health rights are rather stupid and it does cause a lot of problems. In the previous video that I talked about, about unwed mothers and their children, you know, when it comes to these, you know, birth control, abortions and all of these important things that women have a right to, you know, the Catholic Church denies them these things. The Catholic Church denies them these important medications that they need to take. And in this particular story, you know, with the Archbishop, I mean, I think he's stupid. His head is so full of ignorance, it's not even funny. He thinks that it is in, uh, appropriate to, you know, basically treat women the way that he wants to treat them. And I disagree with that because that's going to cause a bigger problem in the future. It's going to cause a lot of problems. I personally think that he should back out of this nonsense because he no knows nothing of what he's talking about. Plain and simple. 
and whether he likes it or not, women do have a right to have their personal medications for their own personal things that they have going on. They have a right to get abortions if they want to. They have a right to, you know, have possession of contraceptives. They have a right to have all of these things for themselves. But yet you have idiots like this in the Catholic Church who think that it is necessary to impose their own wills on women, and I think that's nonsense. I really do. And this is just another prime example of Bronze Age beliefs tearing this country apart when it comes to women, when it comes to anybody for that matter in society as we know it. This is extremely damaging and this particular branch of Christianity is nonsense. And yes, Christians, I did say Christianity because whether you like it or not, Catholicism is a part of Christianity, just so you know. And there are other branches of Christianity as well who are doing the exact same thing. They want to put up all of these roadblocks so that women can't get it, the medical attention that they need, that they can't get any of the medical uh, treatments that they need. They can't get anything. You know, that's the way these religious people want things to happen. And it's pitiful. And obviously morality was thrown out of the window a long time ago. Because these religious individuals in these organizations think women are basically subhuman. That, ain't, that they don't deserve anything, period. When in all actuality, that is not the case. They do deserve everything that they get as far as their own personal medical needs are concerned. It's their right to have them, Timothy Dolan. And what you need to do is literally pull your head out of your ass and actually have some compassion for your fellow human beings. Take your God glasses off and actually pay attention to what's in front of you because that is what is important and that is what you should be concentrating on. And that's all I have to say about the subject. You know, please feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, The Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I will see you next video.